Hello everyone and welcome to what is the first of what is going to be a few Christmassy related videos. Now this is not a full on Christmas video because I'm a firm believer in Christmas starting from December the 1st onwards and obviously we are still in November. So this video is a preparation for Christmas video and some tips of how to get through Christmas or how to enjoy Christmas to the best of your ability. But let's kick off with the first point that I thought of and that point is practicing your oh my goodness this is a horrible present face. And so this face goes something like this. Let's pretend I was given a cat for Christmas. Obviously I would be thrilled to get a cat but if you're not expecting one and you get one here's what you do. <gasps> Oh, I love it! It's so nice! Thank you so much! See? And then the person who gave it to you will just think, oh my goodness, they love their present. And then you just sell it on eBay a few weeks later. They never know. Point number two is do not start any form of diet now. That's just ridiculous. Don't even bother. You know, wait until after Christmas when you're then thinking, oh, maybe I should lose some Christmas weight. Don't start it now. I have people who I have known in my life who are on a diet over Christmas or suddenly become a vegetarian just before Christmas. Become a vegetarian any other time of the year. Just wait until January because there's so much over Christmas that you will miss out on if you are A, oh, I'm not eating gluten at the moment, B, oh, I'm not eating dairy at the moment, and C, oh, I'm not eating meat because I'm a vegan. Just wait until after Christmas. If you're already a vegan or a vegetarian, good for you. You are excused because you have already made the decision. But if you're thinking of doing it over the next month, just don't. That's silly and impractical. Number three, if you have cats, dogs, house rabbits, birds, any other type of animal that does not live in a cage, don't get a Christmas tree. It's just not worth it. I did it last year and it wasn't even a real tree, it was a fake tree that was just pretty, it had lights on and it was pretty and it stood in my window and this little guy thought that it was for him. He honestly thought, oh my goodness, my life could not get better than it is right now because they have given me a light up twiggy stick thing that stands up, has baubles on it and I can knock it over every day. Now that I've got two of them, it's just not even going to be worth putting it out, is it? They will either A, we on it, B, eat it, C, knock it over, D, ruin all your presents underneath it, it's just... Work out another way. I'm if anyone has any ideas, please let me know because I do love a Christmas tree and unless I have a very high surface, which I don't, that the cats can't reach, then I'm not going to be able to have a tree this year. In fact, the amount of decorations that I have in this room is risky. These lights will not be up for long and that Noel sign, that's going to be chewed. It's just what happens when you have animals. It's just one of those things you have to compromise around the little furry things in your life. Number four, always get extra Christmas cards because there is always a situation where you get a card in the post and you've already sent your cards out or given your cards out and you go, oh, I completely forgot about Auntie Fiona. I don't have an Auntie Fiona, but if I did and she sent me a card and I hadn't sent her one, then I feel guilty. And then the time it takes for me to go out and buy a pack of 10 Christmas cards just to send one to Auntie Fiona, it's just not worth it. So always just have backups, keep the ones that you don't use from the year before, and then just instantly write it, send it out, and if you get it out on the same day, then they probably won't suspect that you'd forgotten about them. Number five, continuing on the Christmas card theme. Buy charity Christmas cards. I know that nowadays there are some people and families that I know of that they donate to a charity and then they say on social media that they've done that instead of sending Christmas cards, which is fantastic. That's equally a brilliant thing to do. But I like Christmas cards just because I like the motion of writing them and delivering them and it's all, f this mattress is very bouncy. I like the motion of writing them and sending them and it's so much fun. So I always get 
Christmas cards that are for charities. You can get them from anywhere, you can get them from online. I looked yesterday and Cats Protection League have a whole thing online, which is an online shop. Any charity shop will sell charity Christmas cards. And there are a few kind of like card and book shops that might have a charity section. But if you're going to send them, please do charity Christmas cards because they're just as lovely and then you're doing something good as well. And I think my final point, number six, is a little bit of a haul from a certain supermarket, which I have recently been converted to. And so I went to Asda, and Asda have a fantastic array of Christmas things, such as this sheet and, and duvet cover set, which is polar bears and Christmas trees on one side, and then snowflakes on the other. It's reversible, and it's really soft, it's brushed cotton, this is a double set and it was £16, which is nothing! I also then got that Merry Christmas sign, which you can see there, £1! I mean, I got it around that lampshade, it's never coming off, so that's going to be there all year, just going to have to deal with it. My little Noel sign in the background, £8. And then these little lights that are just wrapped around the bed here, £5! And that's 50 warm LED lights, they've got about a million settings on them, took me about half an hour to stop them flashing like I was having a bit of a rave in here. So I will be going back to Asda because they had several other things that I thought I want to buy them but I don't want to have to get a bag so I'm going to have to carry it all in my arms so that's what I did. That is a really good tip. Don't bother going to garden centres and other places that sell Christmas decorations that are huge amounts of money just because it's a waste because ultimately you'll only use it once a year and yes you may well say it and pass it on to your children, but go to Asta. There we go. Remember those points, put them in practice, and be prepared, because once the 1st of December comes, Christmas is here, and you can't escape it, and you will have to enjoy it, or just, you know, go, go abroad. We're very excited about Christmas, I hope you are too, and I shall see you in a few weeks time with some baking festiveness and other festive ideas. But until then, we say goodbye to you. Bye!